Howdy there folks, everybody at iPad Musician, hello, uh, this is Kinkas Morera here from Mexico City and uh, I was checking out Derek's video about how to uh, convert MIDI to audio on Aria Pro preserving while preserving the MIDI track, the original MIDI track, so you can further edit it, uh, transpose it, maybe send it off to other instruments, which is a very common uh, technique. So let's let's see another way of doing that same thing that Derek showed us. Uh, this might actually be a tad more direct and simple. So let's just add a track. It's a MIDI track, and we're gonna go ahead and load up Animogus, the instrument. There it goes. Let's make sure that um, MIDI out is going to Aria Pro as it is, and it's on channel 1, so come back here and uh, choose channel 1, just to keep things organized, and assign Animog as the MIDI input for the track. Uh, Record enable it. Start recording. Go back to Animog. Play something. Alright, that should do. Let's go back to Aurea. Stop. And here we have absolutely nothing recorded. Oh, there it is. That's the MIDI file right there. I don't know why it didn't show anything. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, excellent. So at this point, with Derek's method, you would uh, open up a new audio track and assign Animog as an effect into it and record that. But what we're going to do this time is just create a new track also a MIDI track and simply copy this MIDI recording and paste it on the new track and this new track we will bounce in place and uh, now here you have the audio and the MIDI uh, of that same animal performance now we could do this with another track still Oh, sorry, didn't mean to import file. I meant to add a track, also a MIDI track. Uh, we'll paste the same MIDI on that again. Um, this time we can, you know, transpose it or something, and we can also assign it to a different instrument. Over here we would go where it says Lyra. We could assign it to any one of many other instruments I have here um, I don't know, I haven't tested all of them but you, you get the idea, you can assign you can do anything you want to this MIDI file now, assign it to a separate instrument and then come back to uh, to the bounce track in place and cre create different files with different audio with the variations that you might apply to the MIDI uh, all without ha actually having to bounce anything uh, in real time, without actually having to press record, just using the bounce track in place function. Just make sure that you make copies of the original MIDI so you, you still have it, so you don't lose it. That's it. Hope this is helpful. See you later, everybody.